morning everybody welcome back today the next bow in the review in a nice green sleeve is the tatar bow by Vec. i said in the last video peter boga reached out to me and wanted to send me two bows and then robert Vec heard about this and said listen can you send one of my tatar bows to him too and here we are there is the bow so today we save the unboxing because we had three bows in one so what you get a bow a string a sleeve and a string holder so what do we have a nice tatar bow interesting of this bow is first of all a laminated bow obviously strung the bow is 133 unstrung 149 the string length is 131 you can have uh, the brace height is 18 and a half to 20 and a half but there are different opinions out peter told me the 18 and a half to 20 and a half when you check on the website of German Elite Bogen, then there's written 18 centimeters, but you find your way. Available from 25 to 55 pounds. Has a max draw, and now listen, 34 inches, but they suggest 33 as a max draw. Makes sense. And recommended arrow weight, I guess, the same like the other bows, 9, minimum 8. Looks very good. It's... Uh, Vec, and then you have here the sticker because Vec doesn't write it on it, so you can remove it if you want to. Yeah, what's what you get? Looks pretty. I'm only the color combination is dark brown, looks good, and this yellow looks a little, mm, but it's me. Then we have now nice leather patches. Remember, in the past, we had there these felt stoppers, and here is some Mikata action wood or whatever as a reinforcement. Looks very good, feels very good, handle is nice, and white tatar bow. Many people like the Turkish bows, because this part here is like, like the Ottoman bows. But then you have here this flex and then the handle goes backwards. Some people like this simply more. I guess I'm not sure if I have the right arrows for this one, because it's 36 pounds at 34. We will see what we have then. 56 and a half. And the arrow pass is exactly 20 millimeters that's nice now let's string this pretty bow i mean the shape is nice i really don't like the color combination so this is a 36 at 28 string is in string is not in so there you need to make sure that the string is always on the seer oh so nice bow looks pretty good is very lightweight again 360 grams looks very nice price that we have now of 18 and a half just perfect handle feels good arrow pass is very narrow bow is straight and this bow is supposed to do 34 inches Till there, draws nice, so most probably it needs a few draws and a few shots until we get there. Feels very good. 34 and a half inch arrow. So up till here it's nice, nice, and then it gets hard. Oh, there it gets hard. So, ooh, I don't want to draw it fully now, we get there later. Let's see what it does here. moves a bit and here it moves a lot so this one is by far not so stiff as the Assyrian from Peter so here you need to know how to string the bow this one is a little but this of course you have a different design here in the handle overall and then it ends up here but there you need to be careful with this bow so Maybe not for a bloody beginner, you know, you need to know how to string and unstring and you need to make sure That the bow is straight. So there is a little more care Necessary so these arrows are 500 grain. We shoot first with 32 inch arrows 500 grain. Let me see what the bow will do String is nice, build quality is nice as we know it from Vic. So 32 is just nice. You feel afterwards, even with 500 grain, a little vibration. 
but it might settle after a few shots but kick zeroes nice away 320 grain they would be now way less but so we are in the ballpark of eight grain oh and it's fun and it's fun Yo, you feel it a little more in the hand but wow and these are the long ones, they are 34 inches and 500 grain. Let's see what it does now. Yeah, ooh, you want to draw this bow more. Now the bow wants to draw a bit more. Still not 34 inches or 33, but at least a nice 32. In the group. <laughs> yeah. Thirty-five point two. I want to know what it does on every two inches. So what the, does it say at thirty? Let me see even a little the draw curve. Thirty is here. Thirty-nine point seven at thirty-two. Three. And let's see if we can get it to 34. Still doesn't feel like it wants to bend until then. So let's see. Yeah, it does it. 51.2. Six inches, a degrees of 16 pounds. Fine, I guess. No, let's look at the ball at 28. Due to the aggressive sears, I guess. What's good? I get dangling there. So we should be here at 60 degree, I guess. Eh, no, not even. See, one can build the ball. So at 28, easy. 30, we are there. make this noise so at 30 inches we have an exact string angle of 60 degrees I like this and now you ask why this bow has so much speed and so much efficiency because of a good string angle 30 degrees still looks good I mean this is looks just perfect 32 is here now we get here already a little yeah, but it's still fine Still fine. Shall we do 34? Okay, we do 34. Ooh. Yeah, now you see here. So you don't want to draw this bow 34 inches. It's a little too much, but it's doable, as you see. So what do we have here? The same, you hear it a bit. Ooh. One, all oh, right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So you feel the oscillation long. You feel it more in the hand than in the limbs. What you get? This is there is a little vibration. But what I can tell you with eight grain or nine grain, wow. So of course now horse arches like this shape more because they can shoot easier their kashai style works easy and even this way around works way easier than with the bump on the back uh, from the normal ottoman bow so that's why these tatar bows have something so you can shoot all this can you shoot mid okay we turn one mediterranean good i mean why shouldn't you oh. hmm? feels good so these lightweight arrows oh but <laughs> mm -hmm. me like it 500 grain 
Now the Pope wants to draw a bit more, so this Pope needs a few shots. Down Katra. Yeah. <laughs> Break the ribs. So, and the long and heavy ones. First without Katra. Oh, set a shot. Nice. And a little more than 32, then it's just fine. Nice. Wow. Even this 500 grainers, I mean, in full draw would be then 10 grain. 20 meters we shoot, first the 500 grain, 32 inch. Little wobbly, almost center, 30. Okay, drops a little, then you feel it's a little too heavy. But still. Make sure the lightweight ones. 320 grains. Ooh. Yeah, then you need to control the ball a bit better. I think it goes to the left. This arrow pass is really narrow, so you really need to get used to it. Oh, um, was a bit too long. 500 grain, 34 inch. And yeah, maybe a drone or 32 or 33. No, look at this. And yeah, then you feel it. So, needs a bit, but impressive. 500 grain at 32. 186. Right, tells you something. 188. 187, 500 grain, 32, 320 grain, 32, but we move a little, and we don't shoot our own arrows, 201, 199, 199, and now 500 grain in I try to throw 34 inches. Get stiff. 172. And we have a loose tip. 167. No. 173. So as you see, this bow has no problem to be drawn 32 inches, so for 32 inch, if this is fine for you, look at this. Ooh, and the arrow disappeared in the hay. Look at the curves. Huh? Awesome. Wow. F feels good. 34. It feels like you need to force the bow. Look, yeah, it's nice, and then it's doable, but you need to really work on it. And it's fun. So if you draw 32, 30, a good 32 inch, then this is nice. But 34, I don't see it happening. 32, just fine. Even with the heavy arrows here. Oh, boom. Nice. And now the bow flexes a little more. So you need some shots. And then get a katra oh, built in for the price of 329 euros. I didn't mention that before, I guess. 32, 500 green. Nice. I feel a little after effect in the handle. But now, 32 is nice. Yep. 32 with 320 grain. Mm -hmm. Feels good too. Maybe a little too lightweight. And 500. And oh, shot. At full draw. Yeah, the bow starts flexing more. 
so I reach now 33 inches with this bow relatively good. Center. But goes where you want. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. It's one of the bows you don't want to put out of your hand. It's a joy to shoot. I see the 32 inches here. It's just nice. And accurate. Nice, precise weapon. A bit more, maybe if you want to. 32 and a half, 33 works too. 34, I don't see it happening anywhere soon. But 33 recommended works. It gets a little stiff at the end, but it's totally fine. And these lightweight ones, Speed Monster. <laughs> Arrow, Robin Hood. And out of the, not as easy as the Assyrian bow from Peter Boga. Needs a few shots until you get the hang of it. But then, oh, oh. So this one, due to here and here, you need to check sometimes. Especially when you do cutter and stuff like this. Check your bow. 329 euros. You get these reinforced tips. They are little, little round shapes, so your string has an easy life there. The rest is very thin, very elegant. You have this leather patch there for the string to rest on. Maybe the felt was better because it was dampening. This one transfers the oscillation directly. So I was always mocking about the felt. Maybe it's a better option. Looks nice here, the Kazan comes nice over. And you have, of course, your handle shape, really nice. With the reinforcement here, feels very good. So the size of the handle is just fine for whatever you want to do. You can control it when you do this, you feel it a little wobbly. So you need to like it. But on the other side, it's only 63 pounds, so maybe that's why. For the rest, it's nice. The string looks good. Has a nice long white center serving. So you find it easy if you look for it. Beautiful bow. I wish there would be more written like, uh, as I always say, poundage at 28, and then poundage as full draw was the max draw and the grain per pound. Then I would be happy, but the build quality overall is very good. The rating. The package, it comes string sleeve, uh, bow obviously, and the string holder, three points handling. I need to check my cheat sheet again. Handling was hard to string, easy to string straight. So this bow is a little tricky to string because the sears are quite flexing sideways. So even I had to check that then the string underneath is in. When you use a step through method, when you use another method, maybe it's easier. But most people go step through when they're alone out and about. For this, I give you four points. So could be better. And we had both there better. Uh, what's the next build is from rough to perfect. Great mate, you have a little description on the bow, could be more, so it's a little less, but overall build quality is without any complaints, very good. And we know that this bow lasts quite a while. With these ones we have experience. Five. The basic feel is from very wiggly to no wiggly. This bow is a little wiggly, so I wish it would be a bit more sturdy, like we had this Assyrian bow, but all this here, you feel it going on. So this, this you feel it when you draw the bow, you feel that there is something going on. So this makes me a little not so comfortable. That's why I would give it four points. The draw experience on the other side is from rough, get stiff to very smooth, no stacking, bends nicely. So after a few shots, this bow wants to bend now. It's simply, if you look for 32 inches, it's fine. 
Look, this is 32, 33. Then you need to stress the bow. So it's from 32 to 33, it goes already up, but it does 33. And this bow wants to bend, so it's 28, it's nice, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And then after 33, it gets a little stiff, but as said, recommended max draw 33. Draw smooth, wants to draw five. Shooting experience. Again, like with the Assyrian bow from Peter, you feel it a little when you shoot these lightweight eight grain something. You feel it a little more, it's like this very quickly. You feel it. So no hand shock. I can't say it's no hand shock. It's more this vibration afterwards. I hope I get this uh, our vibration sensor thing done soon. Then you can compare these all, then you know what I am talking about. Because this is simply my subjective feeling that I feel it here. And I don't like it. And you can hear there's a little guitar built in. Others do thunk. And this one does bang. So you hear it a little. Four and a half, but because I'm impressed and overall five. Gives you a total of 26 points. Price value 329. At least this is the price I found at Elite Bogen because Peter didn't tell me the price or I didn't check on the, on his website. I will check again, but so let's say 330 euros. Um, not sure if there's free shipping again included. Is a good price. So this is, you get a really good working bow made in Hungary by a man who knows what he's doing. Draw experience is really nice. Handle is a little, even here, the handle is a little bending. When you focus on it and you feel it, that the, hand is, the handle is a little bending when you draw, but it's simply, you have ash in the middle. It's not, it's meant to flex and not to be sturdy. That's what you get. There a core of something, stabilizing core would be nice, but then it's a different caliber. So, price value, is it worth it? If I am up for a Tatar bow, which does a little more than the usual 32 inches, and then I have my peace of mind that I can draw 33, even if I want to, sometimes 34. This is a bow to go, it's maybe not for the complete beginner, because here it's, it's really a little wiggly, so... Hmm. You should know what you do, so maybe not as your first bow, but as your second bow for sure. That's why I give you five points for price value is worth it. Yeah, weaker one is the top one, as we know it. A good bow, a well performer, 200 foot per second. It's not too heavy. And for the length, you get a nice F value out of it. And it's beauty only, please don't make this yellow here. This is, doesn't work. If it would be even natural, would look better with this dark brown, but this yellow is a little, I don't know. But the people have like it. It's simply my personal taste. Rest, pine. So thank you, Robert Weck, for telling Peter Boger to send this bow to me. I enjoy shooting this bow. It's a really nice bow. It's, you know, this is one you want to keep and you want to shoot all day long because it's simply fun. Every distance, whatever you do with this bow, it's fun. That's what I can tell you. There are a few small things I'm not so happy with, but this is, you have to live with it. Nice bow. And as I said, I never had any issues with back bows. When really one delaminated, I always got instantly a new bow for it. So, from this in this regards a good company thank you very much for watching that's all for today catch you in the next one